Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Troy and today we're looking at more GTA 5 cars that we asked for that Rockstar added. So we did a video the other day, some of you may have seen it already, if you haven't, check it out after this video, cheeky little plug. Um, but we looked at some DLC concepts, and we looked at some of the cars from those DLC predictions that actually got added in the future. So this is my YouTube channel, and this is a playlist I've created, it's called GTA 5 DLC Concepts. Some of them are DLC predictions. Some of them are just cars that I would like to see personally. But I thought it'd be fun to go and do it again today. Have a look at some of the cars that were added. So we already looked at the one uh, GTA San Andreas one. So let's have a look at 15 vehicles uh, that need to be in GTA Online. Just 15 various vehicles. So this is 15 classic vehicles. Sorry. So they're all classic cars. So let me just skip through. So the Dodge Daytona, we have got that one. Um, the Gauntlet Classic Custom, the Benny's version. Um, that is the Daytona there. Let's go through to the next one. We got the 69 Pontiac GTO Judge. We sort of have this one. Um, I can't remember the name of it. It's the Arbiter GT or something like that. I'll have a photo on the side so you know the car I'm talking about. So I'm going to say that we have got that one because it does have a similar livery. It's based on a Pontiac GTO. It has like similar hood scoop and stuff like that. We got the Jensen Interceptor. We haven't got this one yet. This would be a really cool uh, addition to the game. Obviously, um, Letty's car from Fast and Furious 6 was a modified Jensen Interceptor. We have lots of Fast and Furious cars in GT Online. So this one may get added in the future, but we don't have it right now. We got the original Renault 5 Turbo. Now, we do have the Pernod Le Cruz, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, which is like an electric Renault 5 Turbo. Um, it's actually based on a new Renault sort of concept car, which is actually inspired by the Renault 5 Turbo. But it'd be nice to see a proper old Renault 5 Turbo like this, not an electric one. Right, we've got an interesting one here. This is the Series 2 Land Rover. Galavanta, obviously, is based on a Land Rover, so we have the brand already in the game, so they just need to add the vehicle, but we don't have it at the moment. we got the classic Fiat Arbar 695. We do have this one in GT Online, and we've got a Benny's version of it as well. Um, I can't remember the name of it. The Brioso 300, I think it is. Uh, so we do have that one in GT Online. Uh, another comical one, um, but they could add it, uh, is the Reliant Robin, the three-wheeler. I'm really surprised they haven't added this one yet because I think it would be super popular with the GT Online community. Right, so that does it for that list. Let's have a little look at some of the other ones. Let's go to 10 cars that absolutely need Benny's customization. Uh, this was... When was this one made? Oh, it's got my old intro on it. Five years ago was when this video was made. So let me skip uh, to... Let's actually skip to the first car. Right, here we go. We got the Invetero Coquette. Um, I think I said in this, I can't remember, yeah, um, I said that it would turn it into the Coquette Retro Custom. We mentioned in the previous video that this is a car from GTA 4 that hasn't been added yet, but this might be the way that they add it. They might add it as a Benny's vehicle. Um, so you take the normal Coquette to Benny's and it turns it into the Retro Custom like this. The same as we did with the Elegy and also with the Porsche thing. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, so that is a high possibility, but we don't have it at the moment. We got the Karin Futo. So that's what it looks like now. And it would turn it into this like, whoops, 
Let's go back. It will turn it into this like drift Futo. Now we did get the uh, newer version of the Futo, the Futo GTX, I think it was, which has the pop-up headlights. It has a lot more customization and stuff. So although it wasn't a Benny's car, it had a lot of Benny's customization on it. And it did add the sort of like um, initial delivery and stuff. So I'm going to say that we did get that one. Next, we got the BF Injection, and that would turn it into the BF Injection Custom. Now, we did get the Weevil, which is like the normal Beetle, and you could take that to Benny's, um, and it would turn it into the like Weevil Rat Rod. So I'm going to say that we did get that one. So the next car we have is the BF Surfer, um, a really cool car in GT Online. And if we took it to Benny's, it would turn it into a BF Surfer Custom. Now, we actually got a BF Surfer Custom. Again, it wasn't a Benny's customizable car, um, but it did have a lot of customizable features. And I believe it was called the Custom. Um, and it looked like this. Um, it had like the windows that open at the front. You'll see a photo of it. So I'm going to say we did get that one. Although it wasn't a Benny's car, we did get it. We got a cool one actually now i'm a big fan of wagons um for those of you in the uk that's like estate cars cars like this like the dundreary regina um it's a very underwhelming car in gt online it's not particularly nice to look at um well it is kind of nice to look at but i i really hate the wooden trim on the side and that's why i thought if we have it as a benny's version look at that imagine if you could turn it into this uh, you could like add the flames you could lower it if that was on hydraulics that would be a fantastic car not one that we have yet but one that could be added in the future and finally we've got the cheval picador um let's go ahead and look what it could look like it could be made into a lowrider like this now the picador did get some uh, new customization um it was about a year ago now uh, where they added some like spoilers and stuff but i still think it'd be cool to see a lowrider version of it the el camino is a really popular platform for lowriders in the lowrider community so i'm surprised that we don't have that one yet uh let's have a look at this one gt online 2020 dlc top car predictions i don't think we've had a look at this one yet Right, so the first car we have here is the Bugatti Centodici. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, we know that Rockstar add a lot of, uh, you know, Bugatti vehicles in GT Online, but we don't have this one yet. Um, but there is a high chance of it being added in the future. Next, we have the um, Ford Escort Cosworth. Now, I've taken this photo from Forza Horizon 4, I think it was. Um, this is obviously the Hoonigan version of it. We've got a few Hoonigan vehicles in GT Online already. We've got the Drift Yosemite and, of course, the Drift Tampa based on the Hooni truck and the Hoonicorn. So I can highly see this one being added. We've got another Hoonigan vehicle. Like I said, we've already got a few Hoonigan vehicles, so there's a possibility they'll add it in the future. Um, but we don't have this one yet, and that is um, a sort of Bel Air Gasser. Now, we do have a Gasser in GT Online. The Peyote Gasser, I think it was, a Vapid Peyote Gasser. Um, but it'd be really cool to see uh, like a Bel Air Gasser. There is a Bel Air car in gt online and people have made mods for that where it turns it into a gasser so i'd really like to see that one another car that we don't have unfortunately um, is the lancia 037 a classic rally car absolutely amazing vehicle uh, we do have the audi quattro already which was sort of its competitor we've got other lancia vehicles in gt online so this one could get added in the future but we don't have it right now this was kind of a fun one I threw on the list for the giggles, but it is GT Online. There's lots of crazy vehicles. You know, we've got DeLoreans that can fly. We've got the Knight Rider vehicle. Uh, there's loads of really quirky vehicles. So I'm surprised Rockstar haven't added a twin mill-esque vehicle yet with like twin superchargers like this, because that would be insane. We've seen a lot of vehicles recently that have 
big supercharger options like hood options and ones that have like twin turbos but it'd be cool to see a vehicle that looks like the twin mill that has twin superchargers right let's go to my most recent uh sort of dlc concept this was one that i made with lucifer reap um it was actually my idea and lucifer helped me work on it um but let's actually skip through to the vehicles um so vehicles the aircraft first of all we've got the f-35b lightning 2 which of course has the like vtol mode which we actually did get added um it is the i don't know how you say it the mammoth riaji i think it's something like that i'll have a photo of it so you know the vehicle i'm talking about but it does have where the engine uh, or like the jet engine at the back like tilts downwards and turns it into a vtol aircraft uh, the vortex hovercraft you can see a photo of it here now we already have a motorcycle in gt online called the vortex so they'd have to call it something else but it has been in previous GTA titles, the Hovercraft. So it might get added in the future. Right, let's take a look at one more um, example here. We've got the Street Culture DLC. I can't even remember what this one was about, to be honest. The 2020 Koningsegg Jesco. We did get that one. That was one that we asked for that we did get. We've got the 1974 Civic RS. You may have seen this one in uh, Forza Horizon titles. Unfortunately, we don't have that one. The Honda S2000, we have got that one. Um, I can't remember the name of it in GT Online. It's the something 3000. I think it's like the RT3000 or something. Again, I'll have a photo of it so you know the vehicles that I'm talking about. Um, we got the Acura Integra Type R. We haven't got that one, unfortunately. The Mazda RX-7, that one did get added. We saw that in the previous video. And we got the 2022 Golf R. We haven't got that one, but there's a high possibility that last one might actually get added. So there we go. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. We had a little look through some of the vehicles there that were added, and we did actually see quite a lot of them have been added. Obviously, it's a long, long list of vehicles that we want added to GT Online, and Rockstar are slowly working their way through that, adding vehicles that we have asked for. So if you have a vehicle suggestion, pop it down in the comments, because I'm curious to see what cars you guys want to see. And until next time, stay safe, enjoy yourselves, don't work too hard, and I'll see you in the next video.